G'day everyone, Be Asian Dad here. Today we're going to do the unboxing of a WD-19. Now this is the replacement to the WD-15. So let's do the unboxing and review of this. So I've got the box here. First we need our trusty knife. Let's do that. Give it a nice little, nice little cut we need. Beautiful. Let's put that one away. Okay, so let's flip this around. All right, what do we get here? Okay, so we've got the pair. We've actually got the dock itself. Just move that across. So we've got the dock itself. Nice to see that Dell was actually using more cardboard itself. So there we go. We've got a nice dock. We'll come back to this a little bit later. Put this down here. What else do we have in this box here? And we've pretty much got the power brick for this. And of course the power cable as well. Awesome, and nice little bag of the Mr. Stuff. Now, do try to keep these things maybe in a nice little box because they do come in handy. If, say, for example, you get your mobile phone wet and you really just want to get it dry up, a whole bunch of bag of these are very nice to keep rather than the rice itself. So, do keep on these ones here. Got a bit of documentation, we'll throw that away. We don't need those there as well. And we'll just move this box away out of the way, okay. So let's have a look. Now, what does it come? This one comes with 180 watt power supply. Now you can get ones with 130 watt power supply. Now with 130 watt power supply, it will provide 90 watts to a computer, to a laptop. If you get the 180 watt power supply, which is what this one has got, it will provide 130 watts to the computer. Now, with, if it's a non-Dell supported computer, it will just provide 90 watts power supply to the computer itself. So let's look at the ports here. Now, looking at the front here, we've got the audio combo jack. We've got a USB 3.1 Type A. We've got a USB C. Again, this is 3.1 as well. Along to the other side here, that's just some vent holds for the fan. And of course, this is where we connect for the USB C to the computer. And remember, this is not Thunderbolt, it's just an USB C with display. Okay, now coming to this back end here, we have the port to connect the AC power. We've got the RJ45 Ethernet port here to USB 3.1, USB A type. Uh, USB C display, HDMI port, and two display ports, and this is for audio out. Now looking on the right side here, here we've got two types of security locks, one for Noble, one for the Kensington lock, which is nice. Now looking at the top here, we pretty much have the power button, which then mirrors your power button off your laptop itself. Now that's depending on support of your laptop to this dock itself. One of the things you need to know about the WD-19, and this carries throughout the WD-19 TB and DC, is that the HDMI port and the USB-C display does share the same hardware. So if you plug a monitor into the HDMI port, this USB-C will be data only, and of course uh, allow you to charge uh, US through USB as well. And if you plug a USB-C monitor in to a USB-C port here, it will disable the HDMI port. The WD-19 does support free monitors, but you do need to check the user guide for which monitors could be supported and which laptops. But what you're probably looking at more than likely free monitor support is 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. The WD-19 does support express charge. So if your computer does support express charge or rapid charge, it does take advantage of that. So that means it can also charge your laptop up to 80% of the battery in one hour's time. The weight of this WD-19 is 450 grams. To identify which is the WD-19 and the WD-19TB, you can see by on the left hand side the WD-19TB has a lightning bolt picture on there. So this is the normal WD-19 and this is the WD-19TB. I have created a video of the WD-19TB which is the Thunderbolt enabled version. I'll put in the link in the description below for you to check it out if you wish to do so. It's quite interesting as well. The WD-19 is a modular design 
and that means this section here which you see this cut off section you can actually replace this and take this thing off you can also upgrade it as well so you just flip the dock to its bottom side and just take these two screws out from the bottom now once the actual screws are taken around flip it around and now uh, you just want to like kind of give it a nice little jiggle give it a nice little wiggle but now once you start seeing it sort of gets to this sort of separated now don't pull anymore don't pull this way anymore pretty much you are better off lifting it and lift it up now why we say lift it up is because there are actually two little tabs here now this tab here does hit along this little section right there now you'll see that little tab is hitting along that edge here so if you pull too much you'll hit that and break that thing so that's why i say you actually just lift that up from here i wish that dell actually fixed that tab so it actually doesn't go to that it's pretty easy to break off so as you see once you've actually taken it off it's just basically pci sort of base sort of thing so it is modular it's fantastic that you can actually then just take this part you can either upgrade it or replace this part because even with the wd15 um, this cable always had issues that were constantly replacing so it's nice that they actually have this part by itself so you don't have to change the whole dock or you you wish to upgrade it so it's really nice that they've made this one modular fantastic so let's compare the WD-19 with its WD-15. So I've got the WD-19 down here and I've got the WD-15 right above here. So I've got the WD-19 in front and a WD-15 behind. So as you can see the shape has changed a fair bit. The WD-19 on the left and I've got the WD-15 on the right. So they have increased a little bit of the height there. So I've got them top of each other. I've got the WD-19 on the bottom and then I've got the WD-15 on the top. And you can actually see the difference in the ports at the back. So we're going to test out the MacBook Pro with touch with the WD-19 dock. So I've got the WD-19 dock currently hooked up to the keyboard and mouse and network and also one external monitor. And I've got it already plugged into the MacBook Pro. So people will ask if you can actually boot up the MacBook Pro using the power button on it. Will it mirror it? So it doesn't look like it's going to work when the lid is closed. The WD-19 will do a second screen with the MacBook Pro and it will do one extended monitor, which is kind of nice. So you can actually see that coming across. I can see the ethernet and the USBs are working through the WD-19 with the MacBook Pro. So I'm going to connect the second monitor up by display port. I've got the center monitor connected by HDMI and the left monitor connected by display port. And it is still in extended mode, but the two external monitors are in mirror mode only, which is a pity. So I've got the WD-19 connected by two display ports. Both of the external monitors are running display ports. Again, it will only mirror the two external display. And of course, it is extended mode with the built-in screen. With the MacBook Pro lid closed, it will still only do mirror mode in external screens. It cannot do extended mode with the external screens only. If you find this video informative or enjoyed it, give it a like. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner. I do even support me, but I do try to upload a new video every Tuesdays and Fridays. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.